Right, system conversion starting today. So we've got a Potterton Suprema HE coming out and a Baxi 830 Combi going in today. So just at the merchants, ideally I wanted to pick up the boiler yesterday, uh, but I didn't really get a chance. So just gonna grab it here. I think it's one of those in there. Let's go and say hi to the team. I haven't seen them for a while. There it is. So hi Dom, you're on YouTube. Hello. Hello. How's it going mate? Not bad. Come to pick up my boiler. You're in the right place then. I am indeed. Right, let's get this boiler picked up and get in the van and then we'll crack on. Oh, that's what I love plumbing. Hello sunshine. Hello. Alright, I'm just picking up Josh. He's gonna just put a few of his bits in the van. And then we are going to set off. So we're in Billericay today. I'm going to be starting a system conversion. So I'll show you guys the setup once I'm there. And yeah. See how we get on. Okay, so here we are. This is the job that we're going to be doing today. So, got an old Potterton Suprema HE coming out. So, it's already condensing. So, we've got the condensed run going down there. Good thing is, down here, I know it's a bit dark, but we've already got hot and cold feeds coming up here. So, we've got two washing machine connections. So, just kind of tee off of that for the hot and cold and go straight up to the boiler. And then upstairs. Let's have a quick look. So it was nice working in an empty house. Got free rain. And then in here is where we've got our airing cupboard. So our cylinder's gonna be coming out. Obviously, pump, three port, everything's gonna be coming out. Just gotta identify what our pipes are. That's gonna be our primary flow going up to the three port. So that's gonna get cut out. We've got our uh, cylinder flow that's going to get cut out cylinder return that's going to get capped we'll see if we can take up these floorboards and uh, cap it underneath the floor and then our heating flow coming off here so that is this one so our primary flow just needs to get linked onto the heating flow and that should be our conversion done and then rip all this out up here get into the loft take out the cylinder and get the conversion done so plan for today is we're going to Get the conversion done, get the cylinder ripped out, get the boiler on the wall and get it running. And then tomorrow, I'm going to come back and do the power flush. So, we've got our flame returns coming from up there, so I'm going to take that box and I'll see if I can fit the filter up there. Uh, or I might fit in the air and cupboard, haven't quite decided that yet. Gas is already running in 22 from the meter, so shouldn't have a problem with working pressures on there. So, going to start draining down and crack on. So I've just come up into the loft to find no tanks. Right, it looks like there's a partition there. Um, let's have a look. So that partition is, I think it's about here. And, yeah, okay, I've got a small little hatch here, so the, Guess I'm gonna to have to pop my head up there and the FNE tanks and the cold water storage tanks will be up there. Right, let's have a look. Okay, so I found the cold water storage tank and the FNE tank. That's just there. Very small, tight space, so I think this is where either Josh or Hash are gonna get gonna get stuck in here. Uh, and then all the pipes are just running down here. So it should be fairly straightforward to cut everything out from here. In the meantime, Josh and Hash have got the kitchen unit off because we needed that. The flu was obviously sitting in there. And so I've advised the customer that we may not be able to put the unit back on because of the, the combi bottle is going to be a little bit bigger. But we'll see what we can do. If we can maybe cut a little bit out of there for the pipes to go through. And if it fits in there nicely, I mean, the 830 is a cupboard fit boiler. So we'll try our best. But at least now we've got space to work with. So I've just got them identify which is my flow and return i believe normally drain offs on the return but i'm not going to guess and uh, it's marked on there as well yeah so you can see that it's got your r and your f so flow and returns i'm going to see if i can stick the filter somewhere up here because the plan is to try and hit the flow and returns behind the boiler because on the 830s you can rear pipe them so i'm going to try and take the flow and returns behind the boiler and then obviously the gas is already there and take the hot and colds up from there 
Worst case, if I can't get the filter around there, I might just bring it around the side. So I'll stick the filter up there and bring the return down the side and into the boiler, but we'll see how we get on. Well, that's a good start. The drain off works. So just getting the heating system drained down. I'm not going to drain everything from the ground floor. We're just going to be draining the upstairs because I'm going to be power flushing the system afterwards anyway. So that way at least gets rid of any water coming down from there. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to work with because even if we were to drain off of one of the radiators, it's still going to be water sitting in these pipes. So if we can drain it all, all out from here, it just makes our life a little bit more easier. There we go. Let that drain out. Josh, you ready? Ready for what? Bring the cylinder down. Yeah, I'm just getting all the water out of the house. Don't worry about that. Yeah, down with it. Uh, straight out the front for now. Tip it out and then I'll chuck it in the back of the van. Let's see if there's a drain. So we're pretty much all done in the loft. So there was only one feed coming off the tank. That was capped anyway, and that was feeding the cylinder. So we've just cut and capped that back. Nice that the overflows were in 20 more copper as well. So nice bit of scrap there. We've got a cold feed coming up here, which is then teeing off uh, in that direction. There's a bathroom and an ensuite on that side. So it's probably feeding there. And it's also going around here. And there's an electric shower uh, in, in the bathroom there. These two cold feeds for the F&E tank and the cold water storage tank, I was just going to cap it there, but rather than doing that, I'm just going to cut here, cut here, coupling, and uh, just make that straight pipe that through. In the meantime, Josh has ripped out the airing cupboard, so we've just got to sort that out in a moment. I'm just going to go ahead and get this done. Enter the hamster. So, conversion's all done. So that was our primary flow coming up from the boiler going to the pump and the three port. That's been cut out. That was our heating flow. So we've just linked that out, cut all the other stuff out. That was our primary return from the cylinder. So that's just been cut and capped down there. That was our hot water feed. So that's been capped as well. We were, the plan was to try and cap it under the floorboards, but I think these are all tongue and groove chipboards. Tried to take him out, but it's too difficult to uh, to come out. It's going to make too much of a mess. So we've tried to cap it as low level as possible. Um, it's only going to be a storage space. I mean, the safe is bolted down anyway, so that's not going anywhere. All these wires and everything, clear it up afterwards. But now we can start working the boiler downstairs.
Side's not okay. No, no. my side's not on. Have you got it from the bottom? Sort of, yeah, but not all the way. So, so I can grab it from the middle. Yeah, that clip's gone. That's fine. Right. Can you, is it on one hook at least? Yeah, on the right hand side, I think. Oh fuck, the whole bracket's oh, shit. Alright, take okay. it off. Right, go on, I'm gonna pass it back down to you. Right. Get this hand round. Okay, I'm ready. You got it? Yep. Alright. I'll put it back on the side of the Right, so we've got a bit of difficulty with the walls on these. Um, it's dot and dab. I tried these 7mm plugs, but the screws are just spinning even by using the slightly longer ones. So we're going to have to use these core fix ones. So when you've got dot and dab walls and if your screws are just spinning, these are actually perfect. So drill a 10mm hole, pop that in. Then you've got the little metal inserts that bridge the gap between the plasterboard and the block work and then you've got these super long screws so once this is on it shouldn't go anywhere because we were trying to put the boiler on and the bracket started moving because it wasn't held on properly so yeah just taking the bracket off and I'm gonna redo it with this right let's try that again hopefully this time we'll be able to get it on It's just a case of me being able to see where the brackets are. I can... uh, just brace me from the back here. Yeah. yeah. All right. I've got one oh. side on here. Uh, no, no, Rick. Boom. Yeah. Uh, that side went, and this side's come off. One second. Well, there's a big spider on my head. <laughs> right. We're on. You're on. Yeah. 
I think it likes me. I think it does too. Uh, I'll tell you what. Yep, looks alright for my ass. Yeah, well, that's probably what I Yeah, so we literally just there. Bring around the side there. Are you sure that clip? Yeah. So making progress, the returns piped up, we've got the coal done, the gas done, the hot done, just got the flow left to do. I had to do a bit of jiggery pokery down here. Ideally it would have been nice for the hot to come straight down but we've had to bring it around that socket and then tie it into here. But water's all live now. That's on the cold, that's on the hot, it's miles better compared to what they had before off the open vent system so yeah just going to finish off getting the flow done today and get some power on it put some chemical in the system let it circulate overnight and then i'll come back tomorrow and do the power flush okay so boiler's all done we are up to pressure so i'm just gonna wire it in get it on so it's going to circulate with the chemical overnight boys have got the kfc well earned so yeah, just gonna do a quick bit of wiring, get it on, get the heating running, dose it with chemical, leave it overnight and then come back tomorrow and do the power flush. Right, we are back. Let's have a look. Feels warm, which is always a good sign. bits down here let's check what the boiler's doing all right pressure's held that's always a good sign boiler's still running see a bit of plume coming out there that's all good so today i'm going to be power flushing so got my flushing points set up already sort out the wiring uh cover that uh socket up got a, a blanking plate for that fit the thermostat and commission and test and get out of here time to make use of that bad boy. Right, stats done. Nice EPH combi pack four. So everything's all wired up. Boil has been repressurized again. And I've just put it through the purge program again because obviously I drained water out and everything, refilled the system. So I'm just gonna let it run for its purge process. And then we're gonna have a little tidy up. I mean, yeah, let's get this tidied. And just like that, we're all packed up and we're done. <laughs>